What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 for the iPhone 4. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that you're going to need a computer every time you reboot or you turn your iPhone off. So in this video I'm, well, I'm going to show you that I'm running on iOS 7.1.1, which is the latest firmware Apple has released. So currently I am running on Geeksnow version 2.8.3, which you'll find in the video description below. And that's pretty much the only tool you're going to need. So once you have your iDevice connected to your computer, you want to go ahead and click on jailbreak. Now you may get a pop-up message. That's fine. You can simply press OK. So once you press OK, you're going to get the message to put your iDevice into DFU mode. So what you're going to do is hold down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. Once those 10 seconds are up, you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button. After that, Geek Snow should say it would be putting up with Open Snow. After that, you should get a pop-up window. Do not close out of that window, let it sit there, and then let Geek Snow finish the rest. Now you will get prompted to put your device back into DFU mode a few more times. Just simply follow the instructions and you should be able to get your jailbreak. Now at the very end of the video, I will show you how to boot tethered after you, let's just say, do a reboot or in case your battery went all the way down to zero and you want to turn your eye device back on. As of right now, Blackie is working on a semi-tethered jailbreak for iOS 7.1.1 and I believe a Mac version for Geeks now. So if you're running on a Mac and you want the iOS 7.1.1 jailbreak, so hopefully that releases soon. Up to this point, everything is fast forward. Everything is the exact same process as you would have seen in my other Geek Snow tutorial video. So there's nothing really much to talk about here. You can skip over to the 4 minute mark where I do the boot tether tutorial for Geek Snow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so once Cydia is finally installed and your jailbreak is complete, you can go ahead and interface with Cydia, and then it should be able to work. So right now I'm going to turn off my iDevice to show you that you can still um, do the boot tether from Geeksnow without any hassles. So when you try to turn it on, you should get the screen to connect to iTunes. So in Geeksnow, you're going to go ahead and select the right option for your iPhone model. So for mine, it will be GSM. So it's going to tell me to put my iDevice into DFU mode, which simply is putting your holding on the home button and the power button for 10 seconds let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button so you're going to get the message of booting up with open snow and then that's pretty much it now on your iDevice it should turn on but on geek snow it's still going to say booting up with open snow you can pretty much exit it out and then on your iDevice it should be running back to normal but that's pretty much it for the jailbreak for iOS 7.1.1 I do apologize for going fast but I do not want to waste your time you know for the same thing that I uploaded a few weeks ago 
But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you have more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.